This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain um, how to force close an outbound delivery, which is partially picked. For example, we created a delivery for a 10 quantity, but uh, we picked only eight pieces of quantity among the 10 pieces or is 10 kg, whatever. So you don't want to pick total 10 quantity and because of uh, customer requirement or because of uh, stock unavailability or else the stock is damaged at the time of uh, loading. Okay, you are taking the stock from the bin and you are uh, keeping into the loading area during that time, two pieces are getting damaged, any kind of reason. If you want to do force close, how to do that? I'm going to teach you now. This is the delivery. You can see I created an outbound delivery for a 10 quantity. You can see this is my material and the 10 quantity of delivery quantity is created and uh, WMA status because I have not started the picking. Let us start the process. Create transfer order. We can navigate from here or else you can directly go and create with LT03. And then okay, I'm going to get a transfer order. Click on foreground. Like I mentioned, I want to create only for eight quantity. This two quantity I don't want to create. So open quantity two and the total eight quantity we are creating the transfer order now save it system is giving you a message that 80 percent is of uh, quantity only you are supplying based on the requirement yes we want to do the short picking okay once we have done the uh, transfer order creation we will see the status in outbound delivery and then I will do the TO confirmation. Okay, TO is created. Let us see the delivery VL03N display for the outbound delivery. Screens are reached. VL03N. Okay. One seven two zero three thirty twenty one okay. now you can see that the status of uh, delivery is updated with B because open transfer order item and uh, we can observe Status is B because transfer order is not yet confirmed. And the pick status is partially picked B because 10 is the delivery quantity, but we picked only eight pieces, so eight kg. So that uh, system is showing the status as B. Now let us see the transfer order confirmation. Smash and LT 12. I'm going to confirm the transfer order. This is bulk status, whatever, right? So that we need to get the storage unit details. It says you managed and bulk storage put away. So let us see slash and LS25 to see the stock of a bin. It has 20 quantity. Let us take the SU and uh, input here. See, system has taken eight quantity based on the transfer order, and remaining 12 quantity is displayed here. So, requirement is eight, so system has taken eight quantity, and uh, total quantity is 20, so that the remaining quantity 12 is also visible here. 
now click on confirm so once you proceed that uh, confirmation process we'll see the status of the outbound delivery okay toy is confirmed successfully now let us go to outbound delivery now this is the outbound delivery okay now see the status how does it change delivery quantity 10 picked quantity 8 and wm status has become c because whatever the transfer order is created it is already confirmed so that the wm status has become c and the overall pick status is still p now you want to force close the delivery for example if you want to do the post goods issue system will not allow you to do the pgi because complete picking is not at completed not at done so that here we have an option copy pick quantity as delivery quantity see once you click on the copy pick quantity as delivery quantity then the delivery quantity will be pick quantity has become delivery quantity this we use when you want to do this force close in the back end on rf device or else through any program like we have a outbound delivery report where you want to click on force close button if you want to do any kind of functionalities we use this edit and copy pick quantity as delivery quantity for example you have 20 items or 30 items there are many partial picked items you want to do the all as equal to the pick quantity then we just use this button copy pick quantity as delivery quantity so that uh, both has become 8 and 8 and uh, we can see the pick status and wm status both we can see so that now system will allow you to do the post goods issue So now you can see once we click on the post goods issue system will uh, perform the goods movement with respect to movement okay let us see the document flow so in the document flow we can see when the transfer order is created and uh, when the goods issue is posted so we can see here okay now you can check the goods movement data yes goods movement is also posted and uh, this is the time the goods movement is posted the moment is 601 and you see the document flow transfer order is completed and goods issue also completed both the documents are now if you want to see the changes okay for example you want to check the item details okay we have only one item so you can just execute it the detail view okay you can see here uh, what happened the quantity of 10 kg it changed to 8 kg okay and uh, total the weight is changed from 100,000 kg to 80,000 kg so these details and these uh, fixations we can uh, check it how the status of picking is changed and how when the goods moment status is changed okay the timing details everything we can see if you click on the double click uh, you can see that uh, at what time and uh, what date it was created and changed those details also we can see so this is the process of force closing and outbound delivery which is partially pick we can use the option in edit button uh, to copy the picked quantity as delivery quantity i hope uh, this video has given you an understanding about this force close function and if you want to perform the same functionality on an rf device or in a custom program then you can update this logic by using this, we can uh, 
update copy pick quantity as a delivery quantity thanks for watching and watch my other sap wm warehouse management related videos and provide your feedback subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day